Welcome back to the second part of my uh, playthrough now. Sorry the last one was a little long. I'm going to aim for about 30 minutes, but it was surprised it took me an hour to get through basically the intro phase of the game. Um, this is a very, very in-depth game. It will probably take me months to play through the game. There's so much to do in this game, and if it's anything to go by by the first one, there's going to be an absolute ton of content. So you have to bear with me with uh, that. And this is my first time doing a Let's Play, so I'm still learning things. But, uh, I'm hoping to get better at it as I go. I need to, I feel like super zoomed in, but I'm really not. Ooh, what's up here? Uh, bedroll, shovel, cooking pot. I could use a shovel. Nah, I don't need that. Sure. Uh, looking around, looking around. I will be honest, I do know there's a secret up here because I have played through before. Oh, I found something. Oh, what's here? Oh, there's a cat following me too. I can talk to the cat. I found a bag. I found a bag. I have to wear it. I don't really need a bow. I don't really need that either, to be honest. Add all these to the wares to sell. Not really worth a ton, to be totally honest. There's this little chest here that's hidden. But there's also another secret just to my left. Which is right in here. I have a little foreknowledge on this, so a little bit of cheating. But I did find it last time I played through, so it's not like I just looked up the, the location. I did find it, so... There's this here, too, that I found before, but you can't get to it right now. I need to find some way to do it later on. Burn out already, fire. Oh, I can loot this crate. Oh, nice. Fireball scroll. These people really don't want to talk to you. Again, a little bit of foreknowledge on that, but I'm not going to waste my time. As the fact that I am trying to keep these episodes to short 30 minutes, I'm trying to waste as little time as possible. What do you think about pet pals? Like, I can go talk to these turtles and stuff. I can just have a conversation. Can you feel it? Can you feel the darkness approaching? I envy you, then. I feel only ice. As if my soul has been ripped open to allow the chill of nothingness to it, it threatens to consume me. A little bit of a creepy uh, conversation. I know, I know, again, a little bit of foreknowledge here, a little bit cheating, but uh, I know I'm going to have to fight these guys, so I'm just going to straight out attack them so I don't have to deal with being ambushed in close quarters with these ones, so I'm just going to open up with it. What's happening to these turtles? That transform it. Uh, they have no magic armor, so the magic armor does damage. Oh, I stunned them straight, straight to their face, which is good for me. Go beat him up. Suck him, Gerald. Oh, we're grouped up. This is going to hurt. Not bad. Sorry, just got a drink there. I can't use this. Oh, I'm set. Oh, my movement's set to zero. Good to know. Don't really got a lot of options, to be honest. So I can't move. Can I buff myself in some way or shape or form? Not really. I could knock him down. That will probably kill him, actually. Now it's still alive, barely. That doesn't reach. I guess we'll end the turn there. They are beating me up, man. Heal him. 
hit him, and head over in this direction. I oh, so slow. So slow. Oh, he's dead. Alive for a little bit longer. Magic totems, if I can get them, they do better against these things. Water. There we go. That'll give me another magic totem. Oh, that one doesn't have line of sight. Damn. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. Gerald's dead. Now we can hit them, though. I go to the other side of them somewhere? Well, I can knock the one down. Okay. Some damage off. He's dead. Now I just got one to deal with. Okay. Fire totem. Other bolts. This totem should hopefully kill him. Probably not before he gets to go, though. One health. Oh, you burned to death. There we go. Okay. Ah, slow and so annoying. Was that supposed to be water, though? Go, go step in the water. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, look these guys quickly. A little bit more damage, and I can hit the ground to heal myself. Those boots are better. Uh, he can put those boots on. That's all I got for now, I believe. Oh, I still have to level up, actually. I haven't done that yet. I'll do that here in a second. Have a look around. Oh. chest here. Some places just seem obvious where they hide loot. Like, it's just, there's nothing else there. There's gotta be something that goes there. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Body. Read the journal. First night here. Doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived it in comfort. A group of dumb brutes shook me down for my bread. We'll have to get smart if I want to eat. Met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb brutes took my net. At least this, uh, the meanest one got took in the night. Getting hungry. I always was a strong swimmer. Waters around the... Uh, here are pretty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles to shore, can it? So it looks like he's gonna swim it, but too much didn't make it. Foolish to attempt to escape by sea and beach. Ooh, a box in a chest. A book again. Some recipes. Add to where's to sell. Locked. Can I lockpick this with my finger? Probably not, but we could try. I have no thievery skills. Yeah, no, can't do that. I'll have to come back for that later. Okay, so we'll head out of here for now. Back the way we came. We're probably going to steal some shit from these poor people, though, because they had a health potion I saw as well as a fireball scroll. Really shouldn't, though. Maybe I should get my rogue before I do that. Oh, what do I want to do for my level up? Don't really need a ton of intelligence for this class. I'm gonna go like a frontline fighter that can cast, maybe. So take some strength. Yeah, I might end up doing that. Yeah, we'll do some strength for now. I'm gonna give myself like a sword. And we've got good summoning. We'll do single handed. Because that works for both wands and my sword. And we'll take a level in. Persuasion. Because what's more persuading, persuasion, persu oh, persuasive, that's what I was looking for, than a skeleton. You know what I'm saying? 
you see his face, you just he looks so adorable. You can't you can't say no to to a skeleton. He's got great cheekbones. All the important stuff, right? Oh, grave. Here lies a nameless <clears throat> inmate. May he find Okay, we're gonna head over this way. Basically trying to get as much done in as short a time as possible. Again, having only 30 minutes an episode is what I'm going to aim for. We'll see if it's not enough, because like, I did the intro in an hour. Like That was a huge intro. So I might need more time per episode than just 30 minutes, but we'll see if we can make it work. Uh, anything over here? We already know the truth, Magister. Oh, now there's stuff going on over here. And stay silent. Dallas the Hammer. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. Atus. Oh, interesting name. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. This can't be serious, Alexander. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Yeah, I'm going to shout uh, that mutilating it won't help. Atusa pinches the tip of Oof. her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think she would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. Ooh, that's gruesome. What a waste. Damn. Yeah, so these videos too will be a little bit different the than Magister, oh, or what's sec. left of her lies in a puddle of gore. Uh Yeah, She's I'll take the lizard, the yet super magister. stuck up. No matter her reasons, her penalty path. was fair. So these videos will be different than my standard ones. They'll be I'll keep it just in case. Um, it'll be a little bit different than my standard video types. Like, um, there'll be very minimal editing. Like, I'll do jump cuts probably for, like, when I'm running around from place to place. Like, if I'm if I'm backtracking to like this chest over here where I know there's a chest, but I can't lock pick it, way over, way over here that I know is here. I don't even know if it's gonna display anymore. Yeah, the chest right here. Like, if I'm backtracking back to there. I'll probably just cut to be in there. I'm not going to walk the distance and have that in the video again. Trying to keep them to 30 minutes. I will uh, try to be more efficient with my, my time usage. Okay, well, let's go see what's going on here. This is not your business, Long Pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheap state like this. And Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Ifan. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff. Um. Not one of you. you two ought to be thanking your lucky gods. It's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what it's got till it's well and gone. Now come on, elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him lie. We got a system. And it looks like you don't want to fit in. I always seem to end up in the in the, the violent side of things. 
I'm horrible at peacefully revol <laughs> apparently I can speak resolving things. Do my summonings. That's basically my turn. Maul them. Sick them, boy. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Don't kill the elf. I'd prefer that she lived. Yay, I'm encouraged. I'm so excited to murder some people. I could actually... Can I do it without hurting friendlies? See if I can knock them down. I don't know if I'll have enough reach for this, but no, not enough damage. They have more armor than that. He didn't have much armor left. Yeah, get him, Gerald. Oh, she has a lot of health. Oh, she has plenty of health left. Yeah, we'll go for this person first. He needs health because he was injured in the last fight, and I'll hopefully I'll get his health regenerating. Oof, good miss, good miss. Bad hit. He's got a big-ass club of some sort. Okay, well... A wand actually might make sense for this, because like me having to run in here is not the most efficient sense when I could just stand back and hit with spells. Yeah, I might I might go back to that. I'll yield to none. She's still alive, really? Wow. Okay, there we go. Not now. Should be oh <laughs> he blended with the fire, I couldn't see him for a second right there. He's almost dead. He should die to whatever I use here, basically. Glory is mine. There we go. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Where is the human who goes against their own for an elf? I'm happy to help. Yeah. I hear of no doesn't, escapes. Doesn't hurt to ask. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. In this cave, we trust the Hela. She is young, but she sees. What cave? She knows more than we know. Like, I know what cave because I played a little bit, but we're not in the cave right now. He who gives the bread has the power. Ask how she came to fortune. Great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magister's come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout oh, to him she's a to son. Run. That's sad. I am taken. It doesn't speak great English, though, but I'm not one to judge, Follow to be entirely me. honest. More of them trouble us. Belt, dagger. I got pants for my little warrior guy. Can I, like, take more than one? Damn. I have an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. There is a safe place. I love how she references the cave. Wait, no, she talks about it like we're in the cave, then references the cave because we're not in the cave. She doesn't seem to really know what's going on, to be entirely honest. Add to wares. No, I'm going to keep that, actually. Move from wares. I want to add these to wares. I'm going to auto-sort these quickly. I might keep those. You never know. Like, my other NPCs might need some pants. Ancient book. I do want that. I hadn't had a chance to read that yet. If you guys want to read it, you can pause here. I already know what's in it, so... Uh, I never actually read my own notebook. Interesting, I've never actually read that before. I've got a ton of empty potion bottles I can fill with poison, which would heal me. Okay, first step done. Let's unload our inventory a little bit. This is a traitor here. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what do you ask, sir? 
I'm literally after someone to trade with. Add wares. Don't need pocket knife. Don't need these. Yeah, dash, get rid of that as well. Hold on to that for now. Do I want anything from you? I do, but I don't think I can afford any. Well, let's balance with the scales first. 400. I could get a skill book. That's like most of my gold away, if I do. Yeah, basically that's the only one I don't have right there, and it's 290 gold. It's like half my gold. Over half my gold. So, we're good for now. Let's go. This episode is going to be mostly talk to people. I apologize for it, but there's just so much content in this game that it's almost impossible to avoid. We're back where we started. Uh, I want to grab this girl. This is the... Loche. Hey, I know you. She's the spellcaster. Losa, the dark eyed Losa, sorry, I said that wrong. Ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were Like the Josephine Madame Josephine Gribby Gribbles is not bad. It's the de Pube that just ruins it for like, you know, real name. You. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Yeah, tried to make a run for the boats, but didn't make it. I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. I'll take a pint. I don't so really know if I can drink, safety, though. Is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? I'll ask if no. she knew anything. I mean, not more unusual than usual. It's just, I thought maybe you. Maybe I should have Lose been on. Voice honest. Catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus, and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned. Her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Yeah. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light it's creepy. It's so creepy. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. She's like anyway, bipolar, no, multi personality disorder or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna ask about it. It's nothing really. It's just I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. You don't have to like elaborate. This. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. That's somewhat of an insult, but okay. I'm a hump of leaves, apparently. But Pile I'm of leaves. A, a roadside inn. Red door. Flowers out front. Friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Yeah, I'll go with that, I understand. Look. Hmm. You seem pretty well adjusted. Yeah, de Ain't definitely with my truth. hood. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah? yeah. I was just thinking the same sort of thing. So. You want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. That sounds like it a good does, idea. Right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. I'm going to go with enchanter. Fine. I need a uh, healer. Good to go? Yeah? Well... well I particularly don't need one. And I'll do my best to stay. Well, duh. I'm sure that disguise will fool most people, but I'm a very sensitive and discerning soul. Most fleshy folks aren't really alive anyway. Don't sweat it. Or whatever it is you do. Now, let's go. So, 
I don't particularly need to heal her, but everyone else in my group will. So that's why I have like the poison rod here, because if I use it, I can step in the poison and heal myself. Healing. Whereas my other group actually needs a healer, so that's why. Oh, 21 gold, nice. That's good. So that's why I took the enchantress was because I need healing. There's just so many NPCs to talk to. I'll try to get through these. Like I'm coming up at the end of the episode already. I I might go for longer episodes. Cause like literally we've walked in and we've talked to like five people and it's it's you not that, enough. You gotta cut that out. We're at 25 What's minutes already. Perhaps yeah, you should help. Mad as a cuckoo that one, and twice as loud. Yeah. This draw don't even begin to cover it. She's hollering after that child of hers, killed by a void woman she was. Been dead and buried for a month now. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that will bring her back. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know she had been dead. Okay. Let's see what I can do please, talking to the mom. Please, you must help me. No one here will help. Oh, what can I do to help? Bless you. She's been missing for days now. And not a single soul will help me look for her. Irma's her name. She's about as high as your hip. Black of hair. A quiet child. Not prone to wandering off. Whatever seems to have anything useful. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. To be fair, they're not a traitor. They're the literally just common folk, her. but still. Uh. I last sure. saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her, Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. See, like, I so don't know if he's lying or not. Because she thinks she, he, she was in the fort, so I'm she confused. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. This place turns people cold. Cold and wicked. That fellow Jeff over there speaks unutterable evil. But I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? You are an angel. Like, I don't know if she's dead or not. Because he thinks she didn't even set in, fort in the fort and that she's dead. But she thinks she did. Oh, God. Conflicting reports. This is annoying. Just slowly make my way around the fort. This will be a pretty slow episode. If you there? It'll be important story-wise, but if you're looking for action, this is not going to be the episode for you. Into it. Name of Migo. Everything useful? Damn it. No one has anything useful. Have you seen him? Nope. Useless. Literally it's just got here. It's a very important matter that I locate this Migo. Tell me if you hear mention of him. Okay, gotcha. Tell you if you see him. Oh, I haven't talked to this cat yet. I have pet pals so I can talk to the, the cat. cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Hmm. What? How did I get... Hey, stop following me. Me? I know who I am. Or at least I think I do. Sometimes it feels like... No, I know who I am. Who are you? Uh, explain that you are a seeker of knowledge, but you fear where the pursuit has led you. Explain that you are a spiritual and you never saw the future. You think books have the answer? No. I mean, I think I... The cat shakes its head, as if trying to wake up from a deep sleep. It's weird. I don't know what to think of you. The cat opens his mouth, as if to speak. But his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk, he turns away from you. Okay, I don't know what to think of that cat. That's it. I call court. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. Yeah, we love fresh faces, don't we? Nope. Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Sure. Chuffed to you, chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Sure. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I 
and that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee then. That's a password, you're cheating. You just met for your misfortune, are Fee's off. Okay, yeah. My, my go to seems to be violence because I'm just starting to fight. I don't feel like dealing with him, so. I'm gonna fight these, these sons of bitches. What do they got? Physical armor, low magic, low magic, low magic armor. Okay, let's see what I get from this then. Got oil. Okay. Oh, I can't summon in it. Oh, no, I can. Okay. Oh, he does magical damage. Good. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, can put out the fire. Oh, I stunned a lot of people. And we'll inspire everyone. Or encourage, sorry. Okay, he was stunned, which is good for me. They have enough physical armor that that's not going to do anything. That's not going to hit enough of them. Okay, they're going to get a few turns in here. I'm not going to be able to f finish them off right away, but let's get some damage in. Oh, the table has 500 health. I was worried for a second. Ow, he is getting beat up. He should be able to kill him next turn. Start working on her, I guess. That worked out surprisingly well. Get him, Gerald. Don't run away from Gerald. The being on fire thing didn't last for very long. Or not being on fire thing. We'll go with the staff attack. Because there's magic damage. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's probably going to hurt. No, not bad. Immune to bleeding. Okay, that's good. We'll go with the magic damage. Go deal with him, I guess. Our father. Provoke. Oh, I didn't get the provoke off. I hit the wrong button. Shit. He might be dead this turn. No, he's not. Okay. Um. Okay, that's good. She was stunned. I can knock you down, which means you don't get to go. I'll just hit you in the face. Ooh, you hit pretty hard, actually. There we go. All good. Everyone's still alive. Let's see what they had on them. A toy barrel, eh? Not very useful. Lockpick's useful. I don't particularly need them, but they are useful. Out of curiosity, what does he have for combat skills? He has two-hand weapons, okay. I might want to switch over to one hand with a shield, because it just tanks better than... Damage a little lower, but it tanks better. That scared the shit out of me again. Neat little trick about these summons is if you summon them in water, they can use regener or they can use yeah, regeneration so they can heal team members. I want this book. So if I read this book, there's some new crafting recipes. That'll be good. Let's see what else we got around here. Yes, yeah, like we hit the 30 minute mark already. This is where I'd be ending the episode if I was sticking to 30 minute episode. So I think I'm, I might try for an hour. It seems. Now we'll call it 30 minutes. I'll end this episode here. I'll pick up the next one after this. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you want to see longer episodes, let me know. I'll try to make longer ones. But for now, I'll end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.